Welcome to Dog Bite Games Off the Road. Here we are on Ireland's landmass, as you would start out on the landmass. I'm presently in the carry, the starter truck or wheeled vehicle in the game. There's our carry. I'm going to get into a helicopter and go off to where I'm going to start doing the body of this video. No, this video is not about helicopters. It is about the perhaps the Rodney Dangerfield vehicle of the game. The boats. There are four types of boats. be able to see all four of them there, I'm going to compare them and give you some advice on perhaps which boat you should get. How am I going to compare them? I'm going to be doing this transport challenge for all four types of boat available in the game and we can compare the times it takes to do this mission. Wouldn't this mission is done with the two faster of the boats? It gives a reasonable bail and is repeatable, so you can use it to increase your earnings in the game, much as you can, uh, my, as I show in my videos for your first truck or your first helicopter, and making fast money with your truck in the game on the island's landmass. On the other land masses, the boat missions do not pay out overly well. Now, I'm going to leave the map closed for the most part in this video. However, I will open it here to show where this challenge is. We would have started out near the center of the map display there, near where that rock cube is and where my car is. Mission, I'll tap the mission there and it will bring up the details of the mission. You can see where this is almost the other end of the airport, practically, from where we started when we came to the landmass. Now, I all about, I go back to our boats. I'm going to set the helicopter down here. And if the ghost-like bridge wasn't in the way, you could see all four of the boats there. The two faster ones are the pleasure craft here, which may be fitted out as a fishing boat with a or pleasure with the platform on the back. The red jet boat is also fast. These are the two least expensive boats, the wooden boat and the blue hull Peter Fisher. For this mission, they will take longer to do than, say, our good pleasure craft. I'm going to change the view here. This works a little better. And how about we start the mission? You'll notice it pays out a thousand coins and 550 experience points. It will take approximately two, a little over two minutes to do. Two minutes and maybe ten seconds with this boat. So it does give you a reasonable payout. Much as my videos indicate for this land mass. Or the challenge you would do with a helicopter. Or the challenge, repeatable challenge you can do with a truck. There are some challenges that you can actually make quicker money or coins, but they're non-repeatable, such as delivering stones and wood. Perhaps if you alternate the one where you deliver stone, 20 stones and 20 units of wood, you could repeat that and make decent payout on the island's landmass. Oh good, we've managed to drop off one wreck. And we've got an arrow indicating where the next rock is, but it would have pointed me directly towards the land. Fortunately, I have done this before, so I know the rules. Point 
to make the way around. Now, it doesn't cause too much of a problem, usually, if you run right into your wreck. It's a good way to slow down quickly. I may have to reattach the line to the wreck. It's a way of getting this mission done just a smidgen faster. And we've got him on a long haul line, which should be interesting when I come to the drop-off point. There's a good chance we could miss, I could miss the drop-off point because I don't have him right behind me. Which may mean I'll be taking another couple of seconds to get him in there, or if I miss, I'd have to completely turn around and come back at it. Looks like he's going right in. He did. That's good. So I didn't waste too much time there other than when I had to get the boat off of the shore. Probably went in there a little faster than I should have. We'll hop out of this one. And let's try the jet boat. The jet boat should give us approximately the same amount of time. On other land masses, it might because the hauls usually involve more turns. The jet boat, boat being much lighter has a trickier time hauling a great big heavy wreck around corners without the wreck dragging him off in some other direction. Now I probably didn't break there too quickly. We've got a haul line on him. And it looks like we've got him well off shore. And you notice we do get up to a fairly decent speed with these two boats. This boat, I think, will get this mission done in about two minutes, a couple of seconds, perhaps a couple of seconds, within a couple of seconds of the previous boat. Now you'll notice when you go looking for these boats, if you didn't already pay for them, these are the two most expensive boats. So it's not really worth it to go buy the cheaper boats. You're better off paying for the more expensive boats because they're capable of doing missions like this. And on other land masses there are other types of challenges, checkpoint challenges, or almost something like a highway challenge where you're inside uh, canals that are built just for the challenge, or you want to go through rivers, and it does help to have a faster boat. On this line mass, there is only one boat challenge, and I am doing it. So that should have taken just slightly more than two minutes. I'll to this one. And we'll get one of the cheapo boats. The one you'll probably pick up right away. Perhaps I suggest you shouldn't. This boat is going to take oh, about three and a quarter minutes to do this challenge. I hope you plan on spending that much time with this video. You'll notice right away we're not getting up to an awful lot of speed. Find the hook, tap the hook, so we've got a line attached that's back off the shore. Get turned and point in the right direction. Pointed in roughly the right direction. Oh, good. We've got the wreck following behind us.
So if you plan to make a decent amount of money and you're a person that really likes boats, I would suggest getting two boats I've done prior to this one. They can do this challenge in about two minutes. Or say 130 seconds. Whereas this one is around 200 seconds. Look at that, we're going a little bit faster now that we're not hauling. And there's no problem making the corners because we're going so much slower. That's perhaps the reason why this boat, for one, wouldn't be good when you get to other land masses and want to do the over water challenges. There's a very good chance of completing the challenge in the time allotted required. So if you were to use the other two boats, the two faster boats, and take two minutes to complete this challenge and kept repeating it and making a thousand coins every two minutes, it's a reasonable payout for Island's landmass. But when you get to the other landmasses, you will make a substantially more, you can make substantially more than that than you could say on your best earning rate here on the Island landmass. And there you have it with the wooden boat. Slow. There's only one more boat available in the game. The Peter Fisher with the shark on the side. It is also a slow boat, and I believe it is a fairly inexpensive boat. So given it is a slow boat, I would suggest not making it the boat to get right away on your list. This boat will also take about three minutes, maybe a few seconds quicker than the wooden boat. So instead of three and a quarter minutes, maybe three minutes and ten seconds. Okay, now that I'm sure we've got him off sure, I'm going to just turn the camera and point him forward. It might be a good boat to change the camera angle and have a look at the boat with, but it's going to take me longer to accomplish this mission. And as you saw in the other missions, when I make a bit of a mess, it does add a little bit of time to get the mission complete. Or challenge. Well, we've got a different sound now that we're not hauling, but oh, he's starting to pick up some speed. Oh, but I hit the brakes about now, so we're running up on shore.
You'll have to excuse the extra time. I decided to go with gyro steering here. I can't use that side of the screen to adjust the camera angle except for to hit the button to center the camera. So that means I have to take my finger off of the accelerator. There might be a reason why boats are considered perhaps the Rodney danger field of the game. There aren't too many opportunities you have to be going, say, this slow in the game, except for maybe if you decide you're going for a walk, you decide not to run. And we don't even have the option to hit the boost button. Okay, so there you have it. A comparison of all four boats here on Island's Landmass. So if you're starting out in the game, I hope it helps you out. If you're not starting out in the game, there's a good chance you probably already got some bugs and know all of this. So I'm going to call out a video and hope you at least found it entertaining if you didn't find it helpful.